I think it's finally time now, guys. Finally time to do this Q&A. It's been about three days now, I think. I'm pretty sure that's enough time for all the questions to roll in. So we're finally gonna do it. We're finally gonna do this Q&A. And I'm pretty sure that there is a Smash Brothers character getting revealed tomorrow. Um, Sakurai himself is going to present the character and I'm pretty sure they're gonna do the same thing that be they've been doing with like Terry where like he does like demonstrations and all that. Um, I believe it's at 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, so if you want to catch me live, we are definitely going to be live streaming that. Make sure you go check out Twitch.tv, IvoryXL, it'll be right here on the screen and all that stuff. Go check that out, it's gonna be early, I know people got school, work and all that, but if you can make it, make sure you come out, your boy's gonna be there. And uh, we can have some fun, and I'm probably gonna wild out if it's- I I'm pretty sure it's gonna be either Dante or Sora, I just- I don't know. I mean, uh, that'd be cool. Um, honestly, though, um, Sakurai is holding up the three in this picture right here. Um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I would also be fine with that. So, I mean, it, it, you, we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. But for right now, let's just get to these motherfucking questions. Got the questions pulled up here on the good old iPhone. I really don't care what kind of phone people have. I don't know why it's an argument at this point. But anyways, let's just get to the questions. First question coming from the legend. And he says, what is your favorite hentai? And you know what? We starting off strong. I like that. But sadly, Legend, uh, I don't think this is a question that could be answered by any normal human being, any mortal on Earth, because the question is just so powerful, man. What is your favorite cultured hentai, bro? There's just so much to choose from. I just, I don't think I could, I can narrow it down to one and single one out from all the rest. But I, you know, I do have a couple favorites. I do have a couple that I think stands amongst the rest. One of them being Masterpiece. As the name entails, I think it is indeed a masterpiece. Um, it is a two-episode series, I believe. If they make another one, that will be fantastic. But it is a two-episode series. Very, very solid. Definitely should check it out. Next question coming from Animer Man. He says, what is the best anime of 2019 which you have watched? Now, if you would have asked me this question maybe a couple months ago, I definitely would have said Demon Slayer. Despite... The unnecessary hate it gets now, apparently, now that it's finished. People are starting to see, like, oh, it's overhyped and all this stuff, but I digress. I definitely would have said Demon Slayer. I really enjoyed that. But then, <laughs> then your boy finally decided to watch one of the animes you guys always commented for me to watch, and that is Vinland Saga. And I think Vinland Saga is definitely the anime of 2019. For sure, for sure, for sure, bro. Just... Vinland is just on a, oh my, the, the ending, the ending is just, it, it makes me feel things, bro, just, it makes me feel things, and I want to know more, Vinland is an anime that is, is tempting me right now, tempting me to read the manga, I know season 2 is, is announced already, and it'll get animated soon, but I'm just tempted, bro, I just want to know, but to answer your question, definitely Vinland Saga, I would say, is the anime of 2019. Speaking of manga, the next question comes from 80, and he says, do you read manga? Well, to answer your question, I've read a couple manga before. I mean, I don't really read manga as often as other people do. Um, I I definitely watch more anime than I do read manga, but I've read I've read a couple before. Um, usually with manga though, I don't like reading manga off of anime if that makes sense. So like Attack on Titan, you know, for example, like season four is coming out. And I've waited like I'm very patient with the anime like that th with anime that's getting adapted So I'd rather wait to see the anime and then like maybe I'll go back and read the manga and see you know Exactly like as like a book or something like that. I don't know um, I'm, I'm a very patient dude when it comes to this stuff So like I, I don't really you know pick up manga. It's like oh I got it You know I got to find out what happens next like you okay I'll wait for the anime adaptation and all that stuff But I mean there's some anime out there that you like, like I said with Vinland where I'm tempted like I want to know what happens next But the Taco Titan is one thing I definitely want to see animated But you know I've read a couple manga before next question coming from Jacob and he says how and why did you decide to start YouTube as someone only a year younger than you are I find it inspirational to see you out here with 15,000 subs I've always kind of wanted to give it a try myself but wasn't sure if I could make it anywhere now the funny thing is is that I don't think I could make it anywhere either like when I first started I started from the bottom like everybody else did I started with zero subscribers you, I don't think anybody thinks they're gonna like make it big on YouTube and I don't consider myself big in any way shape or form like I'm still small time but I I love what I've amassed so far you know like the community and 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 the videos I produce like I'm, I'm very happy with what I have so far but we definitely have a lot more growing a lot more evolving to do but um how I started YouTube I feel like 
There's a lot of things that went into it, how and why I started YouTube. First of all, I feel like I've always just been around the internet my whole entire life. Like, I've always been on YouTube, watching streams and all that stuff. But, like, other people, I've never really said, like, Oh, I want to become a, a YouTuber, a streamer when I grow up, or, like, when I get bigger. It's just, like... I've always just felt like you know I wasn't I wasn't built for it. I think I explained this before in my in another video, but I just felt like I wasn't built for it, dude. Like I don't like talking to people. Like I'm not I'm a very introverted person. But the thing is, is that I talk to myself a lot. You know, like I comment on things. Like I'm a very discussional person in my head. And when I'm talking to a camera like this, I don't feel the anxiety that I do when I'm talking to other people. And like doing this has helped me with my social skills a lot so like now I've, got, I've gotten a lot more confident with talking to people I've definitely gotten a lot more confident on camera I, I definitely wasn't this confident before but um also I feel like um Etika you know big YouTube uh streamer you know God rest his soul he's up in a better place right now he's definitely definitely one of the big inspirations for not only my my I guess channel but like also just me starting YouTube because you know like I said before he's very raw he's very emotional and personal with his YouTube video like you can see it like you, like you can see it through the camera like he is not like he's really you know he's real you know like he's real and like I really appreciate that that uh, genuine like him being very genuine and I that's what I pride myself on is being a very genuine YouTuber trying to be as as um What's the word called? Uh, transparent. Very transparent with all of you guys with what I do. Like, that's what I always want to do. I never want to really hide anything from you. I just want everything to always be out there. And we always want to be real with each other. I just feel like that is such a, a good quality. Because when we're really with each other on the internet, we don't have to expect something different if we ever meet in real life at a convention or something. Or if we ever do a meetup or anything like that. Like, we can always just know each other from the start and that is beautiful to me but definitely desmond and you know uh just me i guess you know always being around youtube i always wanted to you know try it out and one day i wanted to try it out also you never know god could somehow bless me and make this into a career for me where i can just entertain people and play the games that i love you know all day and you know somehow make a career out of this and you know do what i love for a living so you know maybe god will bless me uh bless me and us with this so you know also that too but that's a good question i like that one next question coming from pina and they say why'd you name your channel ivory broski now i think i've answered this before and i feel like you guys are going to be very disappointed um there, there's no lore or anything to my to my channel name I, I really don't even know why i named myself that actually okay story time a little bit story time with ivory okay so first of all ivory was never my first choice name so let's bring it back a little bit let's bring it back so first first of all my name on psn was remedy remedy for the longest if you guys were ever around with the the age of call of duty and clans and stuff like that where you have the clan name and then Oh, well, on Xbox, you would have a space, and then you can put your name. But on PS4, or on PS3 at the time, we had underscore. So it was clan name, underscore, whatever it is. And for me, it was clan name, underscore, remedy. And that was it for years, bro. Literally years, man, I, I had that name. And it was from the song, it was called Clarity. And it goes like, our love, tragedy, why are you my remedy? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's kind of stupid, right? So I had that, stuck with that for years. And then, you know, past the clan stuff, I started doing a lot of graphic designing where like headers and banners and all that stuff. And that's where I started to, you know, get uh, acquainted with like my Photoshop skills and stuff like that. M name was still Remedy. Um, then I think, I think I decided I wanted to do YouTube. And I'm just like, man, dude, Remedy is just like, I've had that name for so long. I kind of wanted to change, but like, you know, at the time, I'm not the most creative person. So I kind of wanted to stick with, I kind of wanted to make something new, but then I, I, I don't know why it was just like, I was thinking of names with like re and E cause remedy, it starts with like a, like it has like a, it ends with a Y. So I'm just like, I think I heard like a weekend song or something like that. Or I was playing D devil may cry with ebony and ivory, something along those lines. I really don't know which one it was. I just decided like, you know what? I want to be ivory. And I just named the channel ivory and somehow we amassed almost 17,000 subscribers with this name and I feel like there's gonna be a lot of newer people that are joining in like imagine we have a million subscribers and I don't even know what my name has like I just it just <laughs> I don't even know bro but 
uh, that is basically the lore, I guess, behind my name. It's really nothing too special, but I mean, if you guys enjoy it, you enjoy it. Hero says, what are your thoughts on Ishuzoku reviewers and will you watch it? Um, not necessarily a reaction, but just in general. I think the reviewers one is the one where like these warriors, I guess, review monster girls on how well they have sex i think or something like i'm pretty sure that's the basis of the plot the funny thing is is i definitely will be checking that out i probably will not be reacting to it but there's a lot of anime coming out this year that is kind of left field for me that i'm definitely going to check out and maybe even react to first of all attack on titan promise neverland are and maybe re maybe re zero two um definitely frame one reactions definitely going to react to all of those um, but there's like a couple anime that are coming out this year that I definitely want to check out. One of them is Redo of Healer. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically, um, I, I don't know how this is a hentai in a nutshell. Because, you know, I saw like the manga trailer or something with it. I don't not, I, I don't know how they can make this into a TV anime. I definitely will be probably reacting to the first episode. And maybe if it's like fucked up, I'll definitely react to more. But I'm not I'm not promising like a series where I'm gonna react to the whole thing because I'm just here to see people get triggered. I'm here to see, I don't know, some some messed up stuff because I'm I'm messed up. Um another one I'm trying to check out is uh Gleipnir, I think. It has like something to do with this dude turning into like a fursuit. I definitely wanna check that out too. And uh yeah, I that that's really it. Definitely a lot of weird anime that is coming out this year that I will be interested. I'm interested in, man. Next question coming from Yeats Animation, and he says, Okay, this is what we all want to know. What do you think is the gayest JoJo part? You know what? This is a very good question. What what JoJo part displays the most manliness of fl uh, flamboyancy out there? And if I had to give you one JoJo part, I definitely have to give it to part 5, bro. The most recent part that got animated, if that ain't flamboyant, I don't know what is, bro. You got the gang dance in there. You got stripper Italian time-skipping bosses in there, bro. I don't, like, it just, it, it can't get any more gayer than that, I think. And, yo, shout out to all my gay people out there, bro. I mean, yo, I, yo. I don't care if people think JoJo's gay and all, or all that, bro. I don't care, man. I love JoJo, and you can put that on everything. Next question coming from Sen Eto. He says, sup, bro? How you doing? I'm doing good. Hope y'all are doing well if you made it this far in the video. Hope y'all are having a really, really swell day. And he says, my question is, what, are you, what is your top three favorite Etika moments? Ooh, that is a really good question. Damn, that's... A, okay, actually, hold on. Your boy got to think for a little bit. Hold on, hold on. I definitely have to put the smash bros ultimate reaction up there that's i feel like that's one of his most iconic reactions along with the mewtwo one but i remember being in that stream and he got banned right before they showed smash brothers oh my god i was livid he was on twitch i remember that shit and i think he got banned for drinking i believe or something like that but yo that was definitely a legendary moment for the joy con boys right there bro i remember that so vividly my next one would definitely have to be probably um maybe the 24 hour switch stream where he like slept and he didn't remember like he slept on stream for like four hours or something like that and there were people still sticking like they were staying in there and like bro like oh my god that was insane you you got you got your boy going through the past right now i low key probably gonna watch some of his streams after i'm done with this but um definitely that was another one and for the third one i think the third one for me would definitely have to be any of his scary game streams i think those are some of the most fun I've ever had on the internet right there. Like, I'm talking, like, Sad Satan, uh, mirror, the Mirror game, I think, he like, Mirror's Reflection or something like that. Uh, any, basically, any scary game that he played, um, I, the, 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 that would probably be my third. So, the Mewtwo reaction, the uh, scary games, and the, uh, what was the second one that I said? Oh my god. The 24-hour Switch stream. Yes, those are my top three Etika moments right there. Once again, rest in peace, my brother, bro. Man, though, those are some fun times I definitely will never, ever forget, bro. Never, ever forget. Okay, so we switch in the Discord real quick, and the next question comes from Cuba. He says, tell us about your weeb origin. Like, how did you get into anime in the first place? So, the way I got into anime was basically, I think my dad. 
because my dad is a huge huge dragon ball z fan he had all the dvds and all that stuff and i used to watch dragon ball z literally like all the time man dragon ball z is my first anime i've ever watched but at the time i didn't call it an anime because i was little at the time i mean i'm 19 now i mean i'm not i, I, I you know i was i was i was a, a a child um but yeah i used to watch dragon ball z all the time uh, but I didn't really call it anime because at the time I just called everything shows. I mean, like, it was just people flying around. It was in English. You know, they were blasting each other with energy. Oh, it's a show, you know, it's a cool show. Um, but, you know, as, you know, I grew up, you know, on the internet and stuff like that, obviously, you know, you're adventurous. You know, you search stuff up. You start to be more, you know, open-minded with stuff like that. And I just started to search up, like, oh, Dragon Ball Z is called an anime. Okay, so anime, and then I looked up anime and see exactly what it consisted of. And, you know, I just ventured on my own with then uh you know some first animes i guess that i discovered myself um kill a kill some of the first animes i've ever watched kill a kill uh no game no life hunter x hunter uh what else naruto full metal alchemist brotherhood stuff like that man you know stuff like that you know i definitely ventured out on my own but my dad definitely is a big part because my dad definitely got me into anime with dragon ball z and made me into the dragon ball z fan i am today dragon ball z is definitely one of those shows where i can vividly almost remember everything that happened to it so uh shout out my dad if he ever watches this video which he probably will next question coming from meme hub and they say ivory are you sleep on dr stone and fire force I don't know why people think I'm sleep on Dr. Stone and Fire Force. I still enjoy the series. Just because I'm not reacting to it doesn't mean I, I hate the series or anything. Now, I, I'm pretty sure I have to clarify things because I get this question literally all the time. Ivory, why aren't you reacting to Dr. Stone and Fire Force? Where's episode 11 through so-and-so? Are you ever going to finish Fire Force and all that stuff? And I'm just going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to settle it right here and right now. I'm not going to react to Dr. Stone and Fire Force anymore. Reason why? I just don't feel like it. It's not like I dropped the anime or not. It's just I don't feel like making reaction videos on it anymore. Re okay, so I feel like people think I'm like a strict reaction channel, and that is not the case. I, I like I said before, I, I never started YouTube to be a reaction channel. I, my in my name, it's not Ivory Reacts. It's just Ivory because the channel it's not Ivory Games or Ivory Reacts. It's just Ivory because the channel is just whatever I decide to make, whether it be a game, a reaction video, me just talking. Or, or, you know, whatever, you know, the channel turns out to be in the future. It just, it's just ivory. So, the, re the reason why I'm not doing Fire Force and Dr. Stone is essentially because I'm just, I, the reaction videos that I recorded for it, they just, they weren't it, man. Like, I, like, most of the episodes for Dr. Stone were, I don't want to say they were, like, filler, but, like, it was just, like, there was, like, nothing to say during them, in my opinion. There was just really nothing for me to say with them. Fire Force, low-key, I kind of... It kind of fell off a little bit for me. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, I, I know there was like a, a fight. I think Shinra fought Show and all that stuff, but I, I didn't see it. But I, I know that was a hype moment. But I don't know, man. I'll definitely just watch Fire Force and Doctor Stone off camera. It's just I don't know. I just didn't feel like reacting to it. I also don't feel like spamming reactions out every week and all that. Right now, the only reaction that we're gonna do is definitely just My Hero Academia. One, I'm way more invested in My Hero Academia just due to the plain fact that I've watched season one through four right now. So like, I'm just heavily invested in the characters and story. And like, I, I, you, you know, like I have an attachment to them. Fire Force and Dr. Stone, I'm only 10 episodes in with each of them right now. And I mean, I like it, but it's just like, I'm not as invested as, you know, four seasons worth of you know my hero right now so we're only sticking for my hero until maybe re-zero or you know promise neverland attack on titan them comes out then you know i'll i'll be on my reaction type of grind right there but hopefully that settles things i i don't hate the series at all i i love them actually you know dr stone is a very interesting concept fire force dope ass animation dope ass sound design and all that stuff waifus it's cool bro just just not reacting to it you know Okay, there's a lot of questions that I'm getting here that are just like, like, are you going to do manga reactions for JoJo Part 6? Um, and to answer that, no. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to do manga reactions for anything. There's not JoJo Part 6. The reason why is because I just don't think my channel is just like that. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just like manga reactions is basically just me sitting here and like reading you like panels and stuff like that. I just don't think that... I don't know, I, I just don't think that's that really fits my style, you know? Because, like, I kind of need, like, stuff to go on so I can commentate and then show it to you guys. But, like, if I'm just, like, so, like, 
and I read the panel stuff like that. I don't know. Just it's just weird to me, and like nothing definitely personal against anybody that does that, bro. I mean, get your bread. Like I respect the hustle, you know, in any in any way, shape, or form, bro. Like I never knock anybody's hustle for what they do, bro. So you know, get your bag, and you know. But I just don't think it's for me, man. And for the last question, we have Salty Luigi with Would you like to have an IRL Fuda girlfriend? Who says I don't already have one? Food for thought right there. I'm going to leave you with that one. That's the end of the video, guys, right there. I um, hope you guys did enjoy that. Um, I really had a lot of fun, as you can tell. Uh, I was really chilled back. I was. This was a really relaxing, chill video to make. I definitely, you know, would like to make more of these in the future. Of course, if you guys would want them, you know, for different milestones, maybe just random, you know, popping up here and there. But I really did enjoy this. It was really relaxed. Um, like I said, there. By the time this video goes up, the Smash Bros. Uh, reveal for the new character should be up the next day, and we should be streaming that um around uh, it, it airs it's it, it, it airs i guess 8 p.m 8 a.m my time sorry nintendo is always really early with their stuff so i know people got school and work like i said before but you know if you can make it you know you can sneak in class or something like that you know i don't want to get you in trouble or anything but if you think you can do it if you're feeling a little saucy definitely come join you boy we're gonna have a lot of fun with there i'm definitely gonna upload the reaction to youtube over here anyway but like when it's over so you guys get to see the highlight but if you want to see the full stream you know maybe my I guess thoughts before the chat's thoughts, you know, definitely go check that out. Um, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot's almost here. I'm definitely gonna make videos on that. Uh, it, it comes out on the 17th, I believe. So, uh, definitely want to do a series on the channel with that. Uh, it'll be my first, I guess, official game series on the channel. I mean, Mugen is definitely an official series. Like, we're gonna continue that, but definitely Dragon Ball Z Kakarot's gonna be my first step, I guess stepping out of my comfort zone with how i how i do things so i'm excited for that also i'm just excited to play a dragon ball z game because i fucking love dragon ball but once again guys thank you guys so much for everything it's crazy how we're almost at 17,000 subscribers i think we were just at when i was in that w w w like when i was in that video talking about the q a wasn't i at 15.8 bro we're almost at 17 right now that's it's crazy bro Ho like at the rate we're going right now i think that 100k goal is gonna get crushed in no time hopefully man hopefully god you know continues blessing us the channel and everything you know man i'm, I'm grateful for all you guys i'm grateful for everything uh for everything you guys have have given me like your your time your attention your your support your love and all that man it's it definitely means a lot, bro, and I'm going to keep grinding, I'm going to keep pushing, and I'm just going to keep, you know, trying to be a better creator for, for me and you, bro. Um, but anyways, guys, I think that's enough. Uh, I think that's enough uh, talking. Uh, hope you all have a great day. Take care of yourself, and uh, yeah, it's been Ivory, guys. Peace.